These are the top 25 KPIs for e-commerce stores. In my last video, I talked about what the perfect reporting platform is for e-commerce stores, and it all boils down to the one that you use consistently over time. But how do you go about building that system? What do you measure? And what metrics go into your reporting system? That's what I want to talk about today. In this video, I'm going to show you the top 25 KPIs for e-commerce stores. And no, you don't have to use all 25, but you should be choosing a few of these to gather the best insights for improving your e-commerce store's revenue performance. Okay, let's start with KPIs from your business strategy. Things like profit per customer. You might want to focus on how much profit you generate per customer. What about gross margins on sales? What if your key performance indicator were the amount of margin you get on each sale? Sales forecasting by month. What's our revenue projection for the upcoming month or for the rest of the year? Inventory projections, which are somewhat related to that as well. And then finally, a profit and loss analysis. What are you targeting for profit and loss? Now, any one of these KPIs is part of the strategy that you set up for your company. And it's something that that'll guide everything you do moving forward. And so frankly, in some ways, if you don't have a strategy in place and you don't know what you wanna do as far as things like profit and loss analysis, or even revenue per customer or profit per customer, then the rest of this doesn't matter. So you definitely wanna choose at least one from this column and you definitely wanna have a strategy in place before you go about trying to get data from other systems. Okay, let's talk about data from other systems though. What KPIs can you pull from your e-commerce platform? What about overall revenue by day, week, month, or year? Product revenue, revenue broken down by specific products. What about product categories? Customer loyalty, subscription revenue and analytics around your subscriptions, and even coupon usage and average discounts. Maybe one of your targets is to reduce the amount of coupons you use or reduce repeat offenders of using coupons so that you can have a higher average order value for your customers. Well, you can use that KPI as a way to make sure that you are getting where you wanna be while still maintaining something like customer loyalty. Okay, next we have KPIs from your analytics platform. And in this case, we're gonna talk about Google Analytics. Well, you have e-commerce conversions and conversion rate, what percentage of sessions that come to your site result in a purchase. Attribution modeling to know where your ad spend is best spent, best put into the marketplace. The path to purchase, which you can uniquely track in Google Analytics. Things like traffic sources, measuring your paid ads, your email marketing, your organic search results, even traffic from social influencers. Those are all things that you can uniquely and only really manage to measure inside Google Analytics. And then also making sure that you are on board with the switch to Google Analytics 4. Then our final quadrant, we're gonna talk about our KPIs from your advertising platform reports or any way that you are driving traffic to your site. So what KPIs can you pull out of your ad platforms? We have things like conversions, revenue, ROAS, which is not really a good proxy for revenue, but it is something that's pretty widely accepted. Your bid strategy and how those are performing and even things like impression share. Are you getting all the impressions that your company needs? And are you doing it in a way that makes your business remain profitable, which goes back to your company strategies. What are your profit targets as a business? And my pro tip is this, the more KPIs you have do not lead to more success. Just because we've listed 25 KPIs here, it doesn't mean that they're all gonna be useful. And I wanna to stress to you that you don't have to use every single one of these. More KPIs do not lead to better results. And in fact, too many KPIs can confuse your company. Why is that though? Well, conflicting goals can lead to chaos and sometimes you can't get it all done because of the way the goals are written. So instead, you're gonna to wanna to use the few that are most meaningful for you and consistently track them over time to get a true pulse on your business. As they say, less is more. Okay, so as we wrap up this video, it's helpful to review the list of KPIs that you have and pick out the ones that are most relevant to your e-commerce business. And for that, I encourage you to grab a free copy of our reporting and KPI workbook, and you can go to ddu.ai slash KPI book to download a copy, and you can also print it out and use it however you want to. And finally, in our next video, we're gonna talk about the perfect e-commerce reporting system, what it looks like, and how it's supposed to help you.